This is your weekly trip to paradise, Louisiana style, with Gary Rasponi. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K. Taking it easy, Louisiana State Parks. Follow your outside voice to our parks and historic sites. Farm Bureau Insurance, Demco, your touchstone energy cooperative. Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Louisiana Fish Fry Products, Veterans Health Foundation, Relief Windows, Experience, Quality, Service, Catering Cajun, Creative Catering from Casual to Corporate, Visit Baton Rouge, an authentic Louisiana experience, Murphy Law Firm, Don't Be a Victim Twice, and by CCA Louisiana and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament. Welcome to this week's edition of Paradise, Louisiana. Here we are in Gonzales, Bad Rooms, Boudin, Cajun Meats, and uh, my special guest today, the founder of Veterans Health Foundation, Mr. Brent Ballard. Brent, we're glad to have you, but we've been busy together covering oh, a lot of things. We've been very busy. Yeah, we got something very, uh, very emotional and close to us, and Brent's going to tell you all about that coming up. But look at here. I can't believe I ain't gained any weight. Brent, you ever had anything like that in the middle of a table? We look at all the different meat. Uh, they got two kinds of boudin balls, huh? They got seafood <laughs> boudin balls, cracked and boudin, you, whatever you want. It's a fine place to eat right here. Yeah, we can't eat in front of the camera. Are you ready? Yeah. We got a busy week. We got a busy week. First, we're going to start off, we're going to talk about Veterans Health and the Foundation and a hunt we just did with a young, <clears throat> fabulous young lady uh, at Mr. Abair's Abair's Preserve. Hunting Preserve, right. Right, and then we got we got two ladies that I practiced with last week or so, and they fished the, the final IFA tournament in Hopedale, and uh, we got some reports and the results from that. Then we got the high school qualifiers at Manshack. Boy, I'm telling you what, you won't believe, 170 anglers, wow. boats. That was the people. The co you could tell it by the cars and the people coming in, and the guys that run this, Gene Hoover and... Mr. Bro, Jim Bro, and his wife Cindy, and they put this together. He got them volunteers. It, it runs just as good as any Bassmaster Classic. I'm telling you, they boats are coming in. They get them out, come in. Everybody's safe. They got food. It, it's just amazing what they do. Uh, we're gonna bring you them. And then we're gonna bring you that a little bit later. And then uh, we got a lot of tournament reports. But just besides that, we got the Tito. They had their final. American Redfish Cup. So you'll get to see that. We got news and fishing report. Hang on, because this man here got some good news for you and a great organization. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Bedrons, Boudin, Cajun Meat. Stay tuned for more Paradise, Louisiana. Voted best of Louisiana outdoors three years in a row. When my wife and I started Relief Windows, what our goal was to give a quality job to a homeowner. Everybody's scared of contractors. We wanted to change the mold of what that is. The reason why you should pick Relief Windows to do your renovation of your home, windows, doors, hardy plank, or siding, is because of the experience, quality, service of our company. We're going to show up on time. We're going to do the job right. The job's not done until you're happy and we're happy. We believe you deserve a quality job. Benny's Unlimited Wash Club memberships start at $14.99 a month. Wash, rinse, and repeat every day. Join Benny's Unlimited Wash Club at one of Benny's seven locations. My name is Jared Levine, and you're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Ask me about my Tempur-Pedic. Ask me how fast I fall asleep. Why not talk to someone who's sleeping on the most highly recommended bed in America? Ask me about staying asleep. Tempur-Pedic owners are more satisfied than owners of any traditional mattress brand. Ask me how it feels after 10 years. Tempur-Pedic, the most highly recommended bed in America. Ask about Tempur-Pedic at Olin's, where you know you always get the guaranteed low price. Olin's is the only store in Baton Rouge and Lafayette with the full line of Tempur-Pedics. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. My good buddy right now, we're getting very close. Brent Ballard, 
some veterans help. Tell us everybody, tell everybody, first off, what is Veterans Help? Uh, our foundation, uh, we don't cater just to one particular veteran. We cater also to the families that are a lot of times forgotten. They sacrifice as well. Uh, we take veterans and their families on hunting trips, fishing trips. Uh, we send them on vacations. Uh, we're also wanting to start up a scholarship program for uh, veterans' children. Uh, as me and you've done in the past, partnering together, and we went with Mexican Gulf Fishing Company, had a great time with veterans there from Wyoming. Uh, we sent some veterans a couple weeks ago in Oct early October to Wyoming to kill an antelope. Um, we have a special one that we're going to talk about in a minute that we just took the A-Bears hunting preserve. And uh, that's another thing. We are talking about veterans. He, he, we all those are first responders. You do a lot right. of stuff with the first Absolutely. responders that it, these people lost somebody in their family, you know, in accidents. And some people get crippled. They can't go hunting and this story that will be coming up here in a few minutes, we're going to tell you more. Tell me one more thing. We're going we're gonna to plug it twice. you got a big event coming up, not far from here, where we're at right now. Tell us about that concert and that, that day of fun. Absolutely. Uh, Freedom Badge is going to be at Lamar Dixon Expo Center November 17th. Uh, we have Craig Morgan coming in town to play for the veterans, along with Chase Tyler. Um, we're going to have a... a it's going to be a bunch of different things. We're going to have a cookout. We're going to have tailgating, 100.7. The Tigers are going to have a, a big screen TV. We can watch the pregame show on. Uh, we have the gun and knife show going on that same day. Uh, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. You can go to etix.com and get your tickets. Uh, it's November 17th. That's good. Well, when we come back, we're going to come back with a hunt we, we just did this past Wednesday at A-Bass Hunting Preserve, correct? That's right. Oh, I tell you what, it was a beautiful morning, beautiful day. Stay tuned for more Paradise, Louisiana. Well, the reason why I would recommend him because he's trustworthy. And I mean, attention and love and respect of who you are, what you are, and the purpose why you came, he honors that. Once you're with Murphy, you got a friend. This is Don Dubuque asking you to join me as a member of the Coastal Conservation Association. For 30 years, CCA has worked in Louisiana to conserve our incredible fisheries, making sure that our fishing is great today and for generations to come. Whether looking out for redfish and specks, eliminating gill nets, building reefs across the coast, or work at the state capitol and in D.C., CCA is doing what's best for the fish and the sport we love so much. Your $30 membership will ensure that this work and our great fishing endures well into the future. Go to CCALouisiana.com and join CCA today. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Veteran Health Foundation, this is some of the fun things that I like to go on and do, and, and I appreciate you letting us be part of this. So tell us about this hunt and this superstar young lady. Oh, Miss Clara Lawton. It was an amazing hunt. Um, we went to Abear Hunting Preserve, thanks to Paradise Louisiana for partnering with us and helping us out and make this happen. Uh, Miss Clara Lawton, she's 12 years old out of Zachary. Um, she's had some unfortunate events take place to her in her life. Um, her father was a police officer and, and fireman up in Zachary, Louisiana, and uh, he was killed in the line of duty. And uh, her godfather, uh, Tony Kaiser, he's a veteran. He gave us a call and he wanted to do something special for her. You know, she loved to hunt and Abear's Hunt and Preserve, Mr. Percy Abear, uh, he did a hunt for us up there in Kentwood uh, for her to kill a doe. And uh, it, was, it was an amazing hunt right there. Uh, Mr. Tony, he's, he's a great guy. He's a Navy veteran uh, from 1997 to 2001. I'm uh, just a fine man. And this young lady, she's got a heart of gold, don't she? Twelve years old, oh, smart as a whip. Uh, you know, y'all do a lot. We done did a lot. We're gonna have more of this coming. He we already got a lot of footage in it. He wants to call it in the can. But uh, she, she just amazed me that the story you told me that, that her daddy, she was telling us offside about some of the hunts she took with her dad. She loved it. 
The deer hunt was a favorite, but she do it. She does it all. She does. She's a little petite thing, but she made a shot on that deer. It was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. Instead of you and I talking, let's go see more. We did an interview with her and a few other people. This is our hunt, the eight bears hunting preserve. Welcome to Paradise, Louisiana. I'm Claire Lawton with my uncle here to kill a deer today. Go ahead and look through the scope. Look through the scope. You feel, feels comfortable? Okay. And what we're going to do, we'll rest, I'm going to go get a sandbag. We'll rest the front of the gun, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll grab that. And just, when the animals come in, we just won't talk a lot. We'll be quiet and we'll get one. And we'll look out there and see what we got. But don't take a shot you're not comfortable with, okay? Just give it time, okay? I'll give it. You guys? Oh, yeah. Good shot. Good shot. You go ahead and. Oh, good. Man. Uh, man. It's hard, hold. Tony, tell us how you got involved with. Well, I'm going to start over. Tony, tell us how you got involved with Veterans Help. Um, I noticed uh, they were posting stuff on Facebook, uh, Veterans Help, and. Uh, the things they were doing was fantastic. They were helping the veterans out, um, doing benefits for them, but not just for the veterans, but just the community in itself, um, doing fundraisers and whatnot. So I started following along and looking at the different things, and I noticed they brought veterans um, on hunts, or they did other things for the veterans and their families. And um, so this year... Um, this is Claire, uh, her dad was a fireman and a policeman, and he was killed earlier this year, but growing up, they hunted together. Um, I'm not an avid hunter, but I wanted to keep her in it to keep hunting because it's something that everyone, you know, something they can do to, to not be out on the streets or whatever, but also, uh, to keep her, you know, what she did with her dad going still and so um i reached out to brent and he gave us this opportunity to come out to a bears and and have a hunt this morning and it's definitely been phenomenal so uh your turn timmy you know, what all this meant and uh you've gone through a lot the loss of your dad now you you hear thank god to your uncle and yeah. veterans help but you're so bright, you're so excited, you made me excited. Tell us about all them deer coming out this morning full daylight and you can see it and how did you stay patient and made a great shot? Well, seeing them, it was amazing. Um, I don't know, how about stay patient? Um, 
Were you nervous when you would put them in the scope? Definitely. Oh, I'm still shaking. <laughs> when, when you hunt with your dad, like this ain't your first rodeo. You 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 killed there before. Tell us about the first hunt you ever made with your dad and how old you were. Well, I was nine the first hunt, and um, it took us months to finally find a deer that we could shoot. And when we finally found one, um. We were in this little stand at my other uncle's, maybe parents' house, um, house and they, we, they had a field, and we finally found one, and I shot it, and it just dropped dead, and it was amazing. Let me see. Let me see back. Oh, yeah, there. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. See right here? One spot. Follow it on in there. Other one right there. Tell me about this gun. What's so special about this gun right here? Why? Um, well, it was my grandfather's. Um, he actually lost it, um, and then he found it in a river. So he lost it in the river, and then he found it. So this is pretty special to you to be able to shoot a deer with this. What kind, yeah. what kind of gun is that? What is that, Brad? What do we have here? It's a mini, uh, yeah, it's a 223, but it's, it's a mini mag 14. Yeah. Two twenties. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Super, super, so far, super hot, Brad. Did you see a lot yeah. of deer? I did. <laughs> yeah. Well, she made a trail for us. Perfect day. What a perfect day. Here we are right now, 8 30. We, we already almost through, except we're going to celebrate a little bit, huh? Yeah. Uh, how much more you want to do of this? A lot? Definitely. Uh, tell you what, I'm going to give Uncle Tony a hug for setting this up, and you give me a hug, and thank you for letting me be here. Most of all, we got to thank. Thank Mr. Percy A. Bear, A. Bear's Hunting Reserve. So. Go on, Bobby, and stop. We're out here at A. Bear's Hunting Preserve in Kentwood, Louisiana. Uh, we did a hunt in memory of uh, Mr. Carl Brandon and Francis A. Bear. Uh, they're two veterans, uh, the owners uh, of these businesses here. Uh, their fathers, and we want to do it. Also, um, we want to thank Mr. Tony Kaiser here for his service in the United States Navy. Uh, well, Claire, we took Claire here. Uh, this is uh, her pa ran. We took her out here on a hunt, and she got to kill her a doe today. And I want her to be able to tell us a little about it. How was your hunt today? It was very good. It was it was cool. You seen a lot of deer today. Sam Beatty with uh, Veterans Health Foundation. He's able to go out there and take them, uh, let them get a guide out there. And... You ready to come back? Definitely. <laughs> She's also going to uh, start uh, doing some other stuff for, uh, with Veterans Health Foundation. She wants to uh, start helping the elderly and uh, people that can't and the less fortunate in her area in Zachary. And we can't thank her enough. I mean, this is 12 years old and. And she's thinking outside, and she's got a heart bigger than anybody. And uh, I can't thank you enough. Thank you. The best part about being a member of a Touchstone Energy Cooperative is that it's your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. That's the power of your co-op membership. Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative. There's no better way to cool down this summer than with a delicious thirst-quenching Polar Pop Cup from Circle K. The Polar Pop Cup is the coolest way to beat the heat. Fill your Polar Pop Cup up with the flavors you crave and crushed or cubed ice. 
Nothing stays cold longer so you can stay refreshed all day long. Stop in Circle K today for an ice cold Polar Pop Cup. Polar Pop Cup, only at Circle K. Take it easy. The perfect event calls for the perfect spread of authentic Cajun cuisine. And Catering Cajun has the planners, packages, and chefs to ensure your event is long remembered. For weddings, corporate lunches, or anything in between, give us a call. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana. Brent, what they just saw is going to be a lot more coming. Uh, lot but every more. time we go to Abast, who's in memory of and who we dedicating it to? Well, Mr. Percy Abar is uh, he's one of the owners up there, and, and his father and also one of his business partners' uh, father. They was both veterans. Uh, Mr. Francis A. Bear, Mr. Carl Brandon, uh, we dedicate this in memory of them. Uh, that's why he started this and helped different veteran organizations and he's trying to help more kids and he, he dedicates everything to them. Yeah, and, and you know, everywhere you go and we talk about what, what y'all are doing and people say, let me know if you want to get involved. So if people that want to get involved with Veterans Health, get in touch with you. They can get in touch with me, uh, or they can go to VeteransHelpFoundation.org, uh, or you can catch us on Facebook at Veterans Help Foundation. You can, you can also get tickets and everything, or if you want to sponsor a table, whatever you want to do to concert, you get in touch with Brent, and we're Absolutely. glad to have you. Between you and Trinity Outdoors and my, my, my pet, Wish to Fish, y'all do a tremendous job, and thank you for letting me be part of it. Well, thank so, you for being part. Now. We got two more ladies. This is a ladies' day, a ladies' week, because these two ladies, April Rube and Miss Missy Lawson, they got together. They're gonna tell you the story. They got together about two and a half years ago. Hmm. One of the husband don't fish her whole life. He's a great cook and work hard, but she been fishing since she was a little girl. The other one, she used to fish the circuit with her daddy. And then what happened was they got together on Facebook, and this is their story right now, the IFA. Miss April Rue and Missy Lawson. Welcome to Paradise, Louisiana. We're over here at Hopedale Marina in Hopedale. But look, we got a very big surprise for y'all. Y'all might notice I got pink on again. This is the month of October, best of Canada week. But we got two ladies. Morning. That I've been wanting, that I've been wanting to do a show with, and scout. I'm going to go on a scout trip with them. So here it is. We're one week away from the IFA. I got Melissa Lawson, April Rue. Now, April, you want to help me put this together, and I want to thank you. Foggy yes, morning, still a little foggy. Yes, sir. But y'all, I appreciate y'all waiting on me. This is a scouting trip. There's a lot of things y'all see. Y'all gonna see today. Y'all won't see the after the tournament. Just how competitive they are. <laughs> Price didn't finish in the top 50 the last two tournaments. You know, I think the last one y'all was 34th or something like that. So yes, sir. This is the technique we're gonna show y'all all day. How these ladies do it. You got any surprises for me? Anything you're gonna show me today? Just show you. Um what areas we look for and what um, what we believe hold good fish. We're hoping to find some good fish today. And uh, of course, the, the sunglasses we use are very important. And the bait, of course, Matrix Shad, most important. Um, love that bait, been, been fishing it for years, especially the, the white well, lightning. You know, you from the tower, a lot of people yep. sight fish. Even a few people blind cast. Not too much with these shred fishmen and IFA and the redfish cups all over. Tito, I fished with them guys before, and, and what they look for. She was talking about the right fish. Tell everybody what's the right fish right now you're looking for. Nine pound, 26 and a half inch. That's right. Two of them. Two. Yeah. Two of them. Nine pounds. Under 27. It has to be under 27. Can't touch it. Ooh, that's That's going to be hard. That's the fun part. And this exactly. area. That's the fun part. Challenging part. That's the challenging them. part. Stay tuned. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. We're at Hopedale Marina. Used to be Brent Sound Marina back in those days. That's day. right. Here, That's but right. 
I tell you what, Pat got them going ahead. And oh, boats have been awesome. lining up now for two hours. Yep. So stay tuned. Josh Hall inline spinnerbait with a white lightning matrix craw. That's been my go-to bait setup for um, a lot of our fishing trips. So can't wait to catch some fish on it. April and I are about to get up in a tower together. It's, it's how we um, fish together. She likes her spinning rod. That's it right. Does cast further, but I, I stick to the bait casters and um, I have a new one. It's a uh, the Abacarcia, it's got a what, 10 to 1 ratio, so um, the retrieval is a lot faster, so once I cast, because we cast casting towards the grass, and once you get even a little bit past that grass line, you got to recast, so it's great to get that retrieval back in so you can recast again, so I'm excited about it. Well, I started fishing tournaments with my husband, the Louisiana Saltwater Series, um, for a couple years. And we wanted to try the IFAs, so we did one I, IFA together. Well, the second year, um, his dad wanted to fish the IFA, so I didn't have a partner. So I went and looked, went and looked uh, to find a female partner who knew how to drive a boat, and I found Missy on Facebook. And um, she thought I knew how to drive a boat. <laughs> <laughs> she was just learning. I was and, just um, learning. Just learning how to drive a boat, um, going fishing, and just. Um, it by her house, but I took her under my wing and I showed her Delacro and now I'm hooked. Thank she's, you. She's hooked on Delacro and the whole sight life as we call the of, of the red of red fishing. Um, and ever since then we, we fished our first IFA um, year last year. We did very well for our first year and this is our second year and we're, we did even better. So we make a great team. Uh, That's that's my special rig. Josh Hall inline spinner bait with a white lightning matrix crawl. First fish of the day. Hoping for many more like that. Show you that white bait. Oh yeah, this is a good one. This is a good one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. He may be going back, depending on his weight. So for the, for the tournaments, the tails have to be good. We yeah. can't have damaged tails. I mean, no, split no. not so much, but they look to make sure. Like we um, just caught two fish, um, not the right not the right length. Um, we've had one that was fat, one that was eh. But I think it's time to move. To move. We're gonna go find another spot. But we do like this spot. As yeah. far as coming back for the tournament, you know, but we've got the information we need for this pond and as scouting goes, even though we're catching, it's the hardest part is to leave when you're catching, but we've got to find other places because right. come tournament day, weather changes, locations got to change. You have to have more than one spot. Oh, 
He's a perfect Tito's fish. Aw. Yeah. Tito's fish, over 27. You want to keep him for her? You want to have more red? Yeah. You want one for See, the, th um... This is a perfect Tito's. That one that they have you over. You want to spray him? Right. Just spray him. Perfect he's, Tito fish. Let's see. He's uh. We're going to weigh him though. Oh yeah, he ain't but about an eighth of an inch. He's 27 and three fourths. Hey, where's the um? Where's the scale? Bit? It don't even look like a four. Oh, he's fat though. Hey, where's the scale? Uh, oh, that was fun though. Uh, eight point five. Eight point five. Eight. Almost eight six. Yeah, he's got a. Yeah, we take two of them. He's got a Nemo fin. He's got a Bobo. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. Would you take two of those next Saturday? 27, 26 is. Did you take him eight? He's got to be under. I said, would you take one under 27 yes, weighing sir. eight pounds? You yes. take two? Take two. That's what, yes. Yeah, yes, take sir. Two, like eight and a half. What a rough day. Y'all outlasted me. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm ready to go watch LSU play Mississippi State. Yes, but uh, girls, y'all amazing what y'all did today. Y'all went scouting. Y'all went to areas y'all normally don't fish. No. Nope. You eliminated some. Yes, you did. And then you found them big fish. When you caught them, you left. Yep, that's right. So y'all got did. a game plan for next week so far. So far, yeah, we have a couple spots. So tomorrow we're going to go scout again and uh, hopefully find some more spots. Yeah, front coming in too, gonna change everything too, huh? That means you find Always spots. changes. That's right. Always Tournament changes. day is never anything like scouting days. Mm -hmm. Poor big fish head. <laughs> I'm not telling y'all anything that people don't see when they look at this video, but men, pros, I done fished with all of them. I've never seen anybody spot cast <laughs> as good as y'all. Oh, that last you. fish, we wasn't ready. And you spotted him. Yes, sir. And brought him right there. So we did a little bit of boat blind casting. We did blind casting. Blind and casting today. You handled this boat unbelievable. That's right. Thank you. I tried to get it over it this morning. You had it in the water so fast I couldn't even get you doing. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what, guys. You talking about Paradise, Louisiana? <laughs> Two good-looking women, huh? They married though, so I don't want to start no Both of them happily married. Mm -hmm. Her husband is a tremendous cook. You, the best cook in the world. You don't want, you better not advertise too much. No. And and you outfit, you used to fish tournaments with your husband. I used to, yeah. I I'm, bet you you out fishing, but now. I, they still <laughs> fishing, him and his dad is still fishing in the tournament? Um, they, Y'all they gonna will be. going to be competition? Yes, yes he's competition. my competition now, so it's fun, it's all but fun. But it's fun, it's right. fun. He's real nice, so. Yeah. Miss Aaron, for you, been on the thing, I, I had a bad, bad shoulder to say, I, I tell you what, I didn't make excuses I didn't fish. But y'all brought me food. That's right. Y'all got me y'all give me video. Man can't be lucky in that. Three <laughs> three women in a boat. Made it fun all day. The clouds are coming, but the black cloud didn't hit us yet. Nope. Thank y'all so much for inviting me. No problem. It was a blast. Well, the reason why I would recommend him because he's trustworthy. And I mean, attention and love and respect of who you are, what you are, and the purpose why you came, he honors that. Once you're with Murphy, you got a friend. So what are you going to do with the speckled trout? That's right. There's just no doubt about it that this is a place where food is created differently from anywhere else in the world because it just couldn't happen anywhere else. We're a culture made up of so many different people, love of ingredients, love of cooking styles, and they all right here. At the end of the day, that's all Baton Rouge. Benny's Unlimited Wash Club memberships start at $14.99 a month. Wash, rinse, and repeat every day. Join Benny's Unlimited Wash Club at one of Benny's seven locations. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana, and a tournament rodeo report. Uh, we got a lot of, lot of rodeos coming up, a lot of tournaments coming up, but mostly they've all passed, and we got a lot of, lot of winners to be. We're gonna give a clap and holler at them. Uh, we, we got a, 
a, a big tournament coming up right now. Uh, it's a kayak tournament at Sycamore Point called a truck, the Turkey Trout Shootout. And that's five biggest trout. So you can look on their website and, and uh, y'all have time. If you watch this Thursday, Friday, whenever you can, you can make that tournament. Now and that's at Sycamore State Park, right? Sycamore Point State Sy Park. That's where we got it. Now, last week we, we would we were mentioning a bunch of people and we were talking about big winners. I'm getting ready to give you a report on a high school qualifier. Now I tell you, a high school qualifier. When you see 170 boats, they got beautiful weather for once. The water was high, and all of them caught fish. But I stopped there in Manchac, 170 boats. I took some video of the people around there. Uh, you're gonna be able to watch this on Pelican Sports TV. You know, look at their local listings and when they do it. It's gonna be tape delayed, but you're gonna be able to see. They talk to every one of those kids where they're fishing and what's going on. And uh, we want to thank them people that sponsored us and Pelican for doing it. They got more coming up after the first of the year. We, we plan to be there and hey, cover it a bit more now. We're here at Manchac, Louisiana. This is the first fall qualifier for Louisiana Bass Nation High School Circuit. This is our East Trail. And it just uh, gives me chills when I see all the people and the anglers and stuff that turned out. It's a beautiful day. God's blessed us. And uh, you just don't know how proud it makes me to, to see how, how this has grown and how high school fishing is giving these anglers something to do. And also, based on our facilities we have here, like I said, we had 170 boats and the public launch here in Manchac, we were able to get them all parked comfortably. And here again, that goes according to our way our wildlife and fisheries in the State Department is keeping up our land as the best they can. And we really, really appreciate it. And yes, you are watching the week, Paradise Louisiana. And, and, just, and just to add to that, we couldn't have got all these people in and out of here. Mr. Gary, show you all the pictures of just what we were talking about without the help of the Tangible Parish Sheriff's Office. They, they've, they rolled out the red carpet for us. And we just wanted to add that we're, we're so grateful to have Pelican Sports here to uh, televise this way and it means a lot to these kids and just the great sponsors that help us do it. Please, y'all tune in to Pelican Sports, catch these kids on TV, see what they're doing, see what the Louisiana Bass Station High School is all about. This past week, what reminded me is last week when we were, congratulations Eric and Craig, some, I don't know, all those boys that, that placed in the open, That's right. Eric Hines. He's a former national champion of high school, and he, he's here now the Junior Southwest Bass Masters. Eric Hines won the co-angler of the year. He's fishing with the LDOT. He come in first in points last year. First time he fished it. Eric Hines, you, we heard him on here a long time. I wanted to give him a shout out. Now, uh, Jared Abbott, the Junior Southwest Bass Masters, He's also a Louisiana Bass Nation fall qualifier on the Red River in Natchez. First co-angler, he was the first co-angler. He's also the big bass first day, second big bass on the second day. So now, I'm gonna go, go cover the high school tournament right now. And thanks to, thanks to our good buddy Hoover and his wife and all the other volunteers right here. I'm gonna read them off to you pretty good. First place from Brutley High School was Michael Bonadonna and Greg Diamond. Now, Bonadonna is a local name. You know his dad and his uncles, all them fishing, all these big tournaments. They fished a lot of these qualifiers so out there for bass, the Elite Series and this and this. You know, and I didn't even mention last, last week, the Elite Series. Mm -hmm. I got a gotcha. He got He qualified along with Derek and them. Quentin Capo. Quentin, uh, Uncle Gary pulling for you, baby. He's not really, he's not really my my nephew, but he called me Uncle Gary, and I love That's it. That's right. So, uh, second place at Walker High School, from Walker High School, was Brennan Richard and Mackie Foshoy. And then third one from Notre Dame High School is Brian Brother Martin and Grant Shakespeare. Fourth was e from East Baton Rouge Bassmaster Jordan Sylvester and Connor Taylor. And uh, the fifth was the fishing club, Morgan City High School Fishing Club. Peyton Grizzaffi and Jordan Perkle. So they got all of them. We're going to run some of them on the boat. Uh, I, then we got 
Kobe Beto and, and Taylor Jordan, these are all kids that come up all around these areas, but they're fishing. 170 boats. I think they got a total right now of 31 schools participating in this. Wow. And they're working with the High School Athletic Association. It, this might be a sport before you know it. So, I mean, uh, uh, they're sponsored by the schools also. Right. Uh, the team award, by the way, went to Walker High School with their top three weights coming in at 26.63 pounds. And uh, the Live Oak High School, Wyatt Spring, and Atlanta, a lot of girls, Atlanta Moffitt, they won the award for Big Bass with a 4.62. And that's the high school, friend. We're going to let you have that so I don't mess up again. We're going to go <laughs> back to here again. Uh, you had the American Redfish Cup. <clears throat> That's right. American Redfish Cup, Tito American Redfish Cup, they had their championship in Venice. Now, the, Bo Fob and Nicky Savoy come in first. 55 pounds. 55 pounds. Now, they got three. They use three redfish. You can have right. one over 27 and two under. So, 55.02 pounds. Look at this. And uh, Ronnie White and Dwayne Mills. 54.71. You realize how close it is? Look here, third place. Bobby Ways, Matt Shore, 53.96. Fourth, Sean O'Connell, Anthony Fountain, 53.91. Fifth place is Josh Gann and Luke Landry, 53.61. It's close. Those are one hundredths of an ounce. Close. That's how close it was, so you know it. The overall team winner for the year. Uh, they fished Hopedale, Coco Marina, Slidell, and in Venice, Brent Ord and Fred Myers with first with 127.99 pounds of, of points there over the way mm -hmm. to give it. Yep. And Kevin Harvey and Lance Trahan with 126.46. So that's the redfish. Now they had another the IFA that won the girls fish. I'm about to look it back up. I thought I wrote it down who won it. The girls sent me some pictures. They came in 64th. They had a hundred and something boats. By the way, the Redfish Cup had a bunch of boats too. Oh, yeah. So uh, that's my, I think that's all I got in, in my report. So when we come back, we're going to have the Berkeley Abu Garcia Fish Report. I'm John Jackson, and you know we always say we gather our groceries out the bayou. Whether it's freshwater, saltwater, catfish, redfish, you have tons of choices when it comes to fish in Louisiana. But when I fry fish, there's only one choice, and that's Louisiana fish fry. My new favorite, the Cajun fish fry, has the perfect amount of cornmeal, corn flour, and the perfect mix of spices that really bring the heat. Hey, if you're craving Cajun, go look for the bright red bag at your local grocers. Bring home the taste of Louisiana with Louisiana Fish Fry. The perfect event calls for the perfect spread of authentic Cajun cuisine. And Catering Cajun has the planners, packages, and chefs to ensure your event is long remembered. For weddings, corporate lunches, or anything in between, give us a call. When my wife and I started Relief Windows, what our goal was to give a quality job to a homeowner. Everybody's scared of contractors. We wanted to change the mold of what that is. The reason why you should pick Relief Windows to do your renovation of your home, windows, doors, hardy plank or siding, is because of the experience, quality, service of our company. We're gonna show up on time, we're gonna do the job right. The job's not done until you're happy and we're happy. We believe you deserve a quality job. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana, with my good buddy Brent Valley. Brent, uh, not a whole lot of news right now. Look like the duck on boys red snap and all this stuff. But all these people are working and all these things. We got some hot topics coming up. We got elections going on all over the oh, state, absolutely. especially for the national offices of the congressmen and senators. So you, you need to get involved. You need to go out and vote. I don't know how you want to vote, and, but keep being a sportsman in mind. Absolutely. You know, if you're a gun owner and you want to use it right, you know, don't let don't let the bad people take it away from all of us and want to enjoy it. So that's the only news I got of that. You you got we got a few events coming up, banquet. What you got? Absolutely. Uh, CCA uh, Slidell, uh, their chapter. They're gonna have this coming Thursday at Municipal Auditorium um, at two zero five six Second Street. 
Uh, don't miss that. That's this coming Thursday. Also, uh, Delta Waterfowl, they're going to be at LaBurge Casino. That's coming up on Wednesday, November the 7th. Uh, the doors open at 6 p.m. That's a big one. Uh, that's going to be a big one. The yeah. dinner starts at 7.15, and that live auction starts at 8 o'clock, so don't miss it. Yeah, I wonder what the food's going to be, because I, I love going to the bank. Oh, They've been know, that's, that's gonna Everywhere be good I go, I've been seeing uh, catering Cajun. It's unbelievable. From steaks to real stuffed pork chops to all the vegetables, it's been unreal. You know, KD, the chef himself, he caters a lot. But every time KD go with me, he said, mm, they, they could work for me. <laughs> yeah. We got a couple seasons coming up with someone we've been waiting on a long time. Uh, on November the 3rd, it's coming up. It happened to be the same day, I think, LSU, LSU playing in Alabama. But uh, statewide, the geese season open, that's that's all, all quality ducks, except for you can't shoot. Canada geese, but only in a certain area. You know, when Cameron right. passed, right. it's going to be closed. Uh, the duck hunt for you, uh, the central part of the state, I mean, uh, excuse me, the coastal part of the state is November 3rd and 4th. Right. Now, you got to be a little tricky on these youth hunts. The west, they let them hunt one day, November the 3rd, and then they come back at the end of the year and let them hunt after everything is done. So the Birds hang around, the kids don't have no competition. It's good. We, we used to have an argument about that. So, also, uh, snipe season is open November 3rd and it closes on December 2nd. 2nd. Check your pamphlet for all your deer hunting. They've got so many deer hunt regulations to be there. Well, we'll be right back with our Abu Garcia official report. Okay, Brett, safety and car insurance. Never scored a safety. That's defense. But go on, please. Uh, yeah, defensive. That, that's exactly how you should drive. Well, there's no such thing as a defensive drive. Offense makes the drive. Oh, I, I mean when you're on the road. But it doesn't matter, home or away. <sighs> okay, clearly I'm striking out here. Um... That's baseball. Get great auto rates from Farm Bureau Insurance. Call your agent today. In Louisiana, our state parks are the perfect family destination. With nearly 180 miles of trails through park grounds and historic sites, you can endlessly explore nature, try some kayaking or world-class fishing, then find the perfect campsite or settle into a cozy cabin. Louisiana is calling, and she's using her outside voice. Plan your escape today at www.lastateparks.com. Welcome back to Paradise, Louisiana, and the Berkeley Abu Garcia Fishing Report. Brett, I'm going to let you start off right now because you got a good report from uh, Mexican Gulf. Oh, Mexican Gulf Fishing Company. Uh, they were going out, they was catching some big tuna. They've been doing good on the tuna. Uh, but then this weather this past week kind of messed them up. The seas were six to nine feet. Uh, they had to move inshore, and they got some inshore uh, uh, going on. They caught some good reds, some specks going out of. Venice, Louisiana here, and they have the fish house, the Majin Lodge right there at Venice Marina. Um, it, you stayed there, it's oh, pretty yeah. nice quarters. Oh accommodations, and that's right there with Mike and Bill Butler, one of our team players over there at Venice Marina. Uh, I, I got a coastal report in Dulac, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna try to make it from west east. I'm still not getting any reports, and I know that that, that founder should be turning on right now. So I ain't got any reports from over there in the southwest. Uh, except, and it's a freshwater port, I'm going to tell you, in Lacassine, they're still catching some big fish right now. Huh? You, it ain't the springtime fish, but for some reason, it's to me, they're catching some big fish. Uh, John Bernard, give me my report from T. Irvin's Landing in Dulac. He had Riley Huston and Larry Bundle. They had a father and son team. They caught their first redfish. There's some pictures of that. Oh, Highway 1. I ain't heard from my buddies. Warren and Henrietta Dupree. Bank fishing, son of a gun. Boy, they got a boat and everything, but they, they fished that bank. I like to know how many fish they've caught off the bridge and off the bank. And they were the old highway one now. You know, you, you can get it. If you come from Libya, you can take it. You can go back to the old highway right. one. A lot of people are fishing. They, had, they were catching some little pinfish, and they were catching all the redfish on a cut pinfish, putting it like, like cut bait. And right. they were using it on that. The white trout, they had about 20 or so white trout, plastic on the bottom. 
Now, I've noticed, they didn't tell me this, but I've seen them fish off that bridge. They love a white gulp shrimp with the chartreuse tail. So, in the Pontchartrain, Pontchartrain Basin, Ken and Hal Lambert, French friends of mine, they were going out looking for fish. And the last few times when the weather was right, they, they had a bunch of sheephead drop shot off of Highway 11 bridge. And they also catching trout in the West Pearl where it's coming out. And they said they've seen almost all the captains were there last week. They're doing it. Coming from Miss Angie, the same thing. Miss Angie says, look, she says, uh, it's unbelievable how them fish turned in. They're moving north. And everybody was catching fish. They were coming in on live shrimp and on plastic. Uh, the redfish were really dead shrimp. You know, you don't right. have to buy live shrimp. You can catch them on plastic. That's the way it was with us fishing this this week where we were fishing over Absolutely. there in, in Leeville. You know, they're using regular old jig head with a piece of dead, dead shrimp, shrimp on it hooked in the middle. And that's how they catch them. Plastic. Now, the big news in Lafitte, is under the birds, out in the bays. Any of the bays out there, you get out there and you watch it, and it was calm yesterday when we were fishing. We'll be bringing you that. I'm gonna have two trips with Topfield's crew, but Captain Greg DeGrees and them. And the feet bays, all of them down there, Mark, Mark sent me that report. Uh, you won't believe how these fish right now are catching any kind of plastic. We would catch them on an H and H, Short truth with the, with the red dot on it. The boys would catch them. It was catching them on a matrix shad, the magneta, the one looked like a shrimp, voodoo shrimp, you, you name it, they would catch them. You could also stop at Joe's and get you some live shrimp. Absolutely. But if you want to save $30, $40, you don't need it. You know, they, they catch them we right now on plastic. Sure. You, what the guy said they were catching their fish on? Oh, they was catching them on plastics and they was also catching them on shrimp. Uh, that was right out of Venice there. Yeah, Captain DeGrees, I was telling you, you know, and I go down most of the time, I'm in Tokyo, and, I, and he got some of the best captains around. We, we had some good, all the captains came in this week, but as far as the fishing trips, I'm going to tease right now because we're going to be bringing you a lot of fishing coming up in the next few weeks, plus hunts right now. You got a couple hunts coming up, so, so don't, don't forget, I'm going to tease it right now because we're getting ready That's to right. go off the air. But I, I got some more to fish report. Island Marina, I told you, David and Angie Stewart, they said the trout are showing up like that in big bunches in them open lakes, Lake Bourne, and all them other lakes, and they're having it good. But while we getting ready to angle, we were getting ready to talk about angling. What, who come in with a good report? KD. Yep. KD out KD. there running, he had, a, he had a charter. They were fishing Hopedale. He sent you the picture and me the picture. Hopedale, KD, he was fishing with Kip Corbin, Drew and Christy, live shrimp on a four-horse cart, limiting out. Same thing with Greg DeRees and them. They almost had their, they had their limit almost before 10 o'clock. When no one else can up. find them fish, I promise you, KD can. Huh? I said, when no one else can find the fish, KD will find them for now, you. He been lucky. I tell you, he been a good boy. I guess the black cloud got away from him for a while <laughs> he was right. having it. He got the black crowd. Fresh water, I can see these kids are winning these tournaments. Over there, I've seen the beautiful people. I've seen some beautiful water that people were fishing in Ruddock, you know, back going toward Manshack. Right. And in Manshack, the kids were fishing all over. I don't know where all they run. Catawatchee was making a comeback. Something they stopped. But I have uh, Mr. Fortenberry and them were going there fishing. Catawatchee, they were limiting out every day. Man. Then throwing them back. They're not in big one, but the grass is coming back. They've been catching some fish in Katawati. The Sapphire Spillway, I'm still getting a few Sacolade reports on this side of the levee. Now, Lake Barrette, we showed y'all last week that people are catching Sacolade. You know, they're catching some big ones. They ain't catching numbers, but they're catching big ones. Out in the lake itself, they talk about the cypress trees. They got the low-hanging limbs. Yeah, you, you throw a jig in there right up under there, under a cork, or you, or you jig pole it. And uh, that's where we used to do it. And that's the reports I'm getting right now from from uh, Lake Palouard and Lake Barrette. I, I can't think of nothing else. Let's plug that, let's plug that concert one more time. Uh, November 17th at Lamar Dixon Expo Center, Freedom Bash, uh, featuring Craig Morgan and Chase Tyler. 
Uh, we're going to have tailgating. They're going to be cooking out there. Uh, we got 100.7 is going to have the TV up. Uh, we're going to be able to watch the pregame and LSU versus Rice out there. So y'all get there early. We're also going to have uh, veterans organizations there uh, to assist in helping veterans. Uh, so veterans come on out. Uh, that's all free except for the concert. If you go to etix.com, etix.com, to get your tickets for the concert, uh, everything 100% goes to veterans. Um, well, tell me, uh, you, you got any locations, a uh, uh, business paper that they can go in and get a, any of the sponsors? Uh, absolutely. Uh, if they go to Veterans Health Foundation on Facebook or they go to veteranshealthfoundation.org, um, you can go there and that we'll have the information for sponsorships. Also tables, uh, VIP tables. The only seat in the house is going to be $800 each. Uh, get with us and check us out on Facebook. Also, if you got a veteran, you know, with a jaw hunt, that ain't been out of his house, wants to get out, he's thinking he needs to get out, want to go out and know whether it's fishing, whether it's hunting, every kind of dog. We've had them on rabbit hunts, deer hunts, and a comfortable stand, their wheelchair accessible. Anybody you know, you need help. There's two organizations I'm involved in. One of them, you know, is now is, is Veterans Health and Trinity Outdoors. Outdoor adventures. What we got coming up, we can show people on TV. We have a couple hunts coming up. Uh, we have another young lady. I'm not going to spoil it right now who it is, but it's a special hunt for us. Uh, we're going to take, uh, it's a veteran's wife. Uh, we have that coming up. We also have another uh, big organization uh, that sponsored a veteran going hunting uh, in Bidalia, Louisiana. And we have another one back at Percy Abrams. It's going to be us in uh, Paradise, Louisiana. Yeah, thank Mr. Percy, too, and thank you coming on today and building us out. You stay tuned for more Paradise, Louisiana. I'm by myself. Chris is trying to slow me down. I'm talking so fast. Seems like after 16 years, I ought to be getting better. I don't know what it is. You're watching Paradise, Louisiana. Paradise, Louisiana is brought to you by Circle K. Taking it easy, Louisiana State Parks. Follow your outside voice to our parks and historic sites. Farm Bureau Insurance, Demco, your Touchstone Energy Cooperative, Baton Rouge Coca-Cola Bottling Company, Benny's Car Wash and Oil Change, Louisiana Fish Fry Products, Veterans Help Foundation, Relief Windows, Experience, Quality, Service, Catering Cajun, Creative Catering from Casual to Corporate, Visit Baton Rouge, an authentic Louisiana experience, Murphy Law Firm, Don't Be a Victim Twice, and by CCA Louisiana and the CCA Louisiana Star Tournament.